If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have the new Knockout Stage team has actually been released. There's a couple of players that I really wanna try out. The Son looks incredible. Even though he has only one more pace, one more shooting, one more dribbling, I think he has three more physical and three more passing. So not the biggest of stats, but I do have his headliner card, which I bought a couple of days ago. Thankfully, it was a decent investment. I think he's gone up a tiny bit in price. So by the time I do a video on him, I should make a tiny bit of profit. At least I'm not losing any coins there. But David Neres, he actually looks really good. Um, but when you look at his in-game stats, uh, they don't look that great. I saw some people tweeting out his in-game stats and I'll show you why. So before I begin, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description if you to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points, or uh, cheap PC games. Team of the season, very, very close guys. Make sure you are prepared. Some people are asking about my displays behind me. Link to that will be in the description with a discount code. Um, automatically applied if you do just use my link in the description so guys 92 pace is extremely good for a winger no complaints there but 82 shooting at this stage of FIFA is dreadful and I'll show you his in-game stats in a second 77 passing as well is really bad I mean unless he has good crossing that's the only thing that's gonna save him 89 dribbling extremely good again like really high stats for an 84 rated. This guy is extremely cheap, so you can't be too harsh on him at the same time. Um, 68 physical, again, very low. So overall, for the price you're uh, for the price you're paying, it isn't too bad. The stats are okay. Now let's get into the in-game stats and see how they compare to other players. So. 5'9", high medium work rate is awesome. He's also left footed, so finesse shots could be out of the question because he only have, has a three star weak foot. So keep that in mind when you're thinking of purchasing this card. We bought him for pretty much 50K. So three star weak foot, but five star skills is gonna be extremely helpful to you, you, you know, do the running scoop turn. The Ronaldo scoop turn is so helpful, but I don't know how, how I'll feel um, when I use it with Neres. So we'll see. Anyway, like I said, Pace is not a problem. This guy's got pace. Now, when you look at attack positioning, it's not that great. 83 is not that great. Finishing is actually quite high for an 84 rate player, so I like that. Then you have shot power. 82 shot power is so bad. Then long shots is only 74, but like I said from all my other videos, if they have at least 70, it's fine. You don't even need over 70 as long as the shot power is really high. So we need to try and increase the shot power. Volleys is crap and also penalties is crap. Now, when you look at his um, passing stats, which is really important for a wingo because they are gonna be crossing it a lot, only 72 crossing. So that is really, really low. Short passing is good. I think other than that, it's short passing and vision. The rest are actually really, really average. 84 rated though. So when you look at his in-game stats, the only things that are actually looking good is his pace and his dribbling stats. So 96 agility gonna be awesome to dribble with this guy and how tall was he five foot nine so not that tall um 89 balance he's gonna feel extremely agile i love that reactions is quite low i want to see how that affects him in the game ball control is extremely high dribbling is extremely high which is awesome composure borderline acceptable so we'll see how that how he fares in the game 78 stamina for a winger again extremely low so a very average looking card i have to admit i know there's a lot of hype around this card but truthfully it's a very average looking card at this stage of fifa like if this guy was released at the start of the game uh maybe there'll be a bit more hype he might he might even be more expensive but regarding how much hype around him right now he's only 50k so and i could see why because his in-game stats aren't the best so i would definitely try and increase his stats uh, when it comes to shooting and passing, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. All right, so stats wise, I've decided to go with Deadeye. I feel like this is the best I could do. So we have increased his attack positioning by 15, so it's nearly max, maxed out. And then also his finishing is maxed out. And then you have his shot power 92 now, which is extremely important because you do want to score with him. Also, his vision is 95 now. His crossing is still too low for my liking but even if you increase it by 10 it's only going to go up to 82 so it's not gonna you're not going to feel too much difference between increasing it by 5 or 10 so I, i'd left it as that because i really wanted to focus on shooting then you have his short passing is 95 
curve again extremely low but this is the best i could do let me know what chemistry style would you put on david Neres. let me know in the comment section below let us get into the match this is the team we're using also guys before i get into the match there's a missing pokemon here and it's on its way it's a uh, star pokemon because pikachu is not normally a star pokemon unless you're playing pokemon yellow but charizard is on its way and he's going to fill that spot anyway this team looks okay nothing too special Way past Lucas, mate. Finish it. 1v1s, guys, is so, so unpredictable in this game. Or unpredictable, inconsistent. I could be in that exact position in a different match and it will go in. I don't know what makes, what decides that it's going to go in or not. Like, Pato there, under no pressure, misses it. I did check what Snerez is uh, heading. Crossed in. Oof, Lucas. There we go. Snerez seems to be in position, but um, he didn't get that header in. Five foot nine. I think Aguero is the same height, but Aguero will most likely head that in because he has extremely good jumping. But I can't really compare a left winger to a striker. Um, it's an okay goal, very lucky bounce. I thought I was blocking him there, but off the kickoff, this guy scores straight away. It feels like I cannot block him at all. As you guys saw there, look, I, I even put someone in front. It, somehow, it just... Nothing happens. Can we do something here? Oh, we still keep the ball, though. Oh, the five-star skills coming into play. The shot! Was that a save? It was. His shot power just doesn't feel strong enough, even after upgrading it. That was a good goal from him. Easily bullies off my players and gets the goal. I knew he was going to do that. Let's go. Bang it! Of course it wouldn't go in. That was good. Ah, oh, just... If only he had a bit more power, guys, it would have been a lot easier to get past some of these players, but... Just not strong enough. So many um, areas where I would hope that he would be able to just push off the player. Just doesn't work out. Did not want to pass it to him. That was my bad. Okay, here we go. Counter-attack. This is how fast he is. You see what I mean? He's not extremely fast. Lucas. Oh my god, Lucas. I forgot his weak foot. We've had so many good opportunities in this match, guys. And uh, it's one of those days where FIFA just doesn't go your way. All right, guys. First match is over. We do lose 3-1. Very disappointing result. But... Overall, guys, I feel like we could have won this if we took our opportunities. We missed so many, not only with him, but with Pato, with Lucas, we missed too many shots. And in this game, you can't do that because you don't get enough chances. So keep in mind, guys, if you're looking for a fast winger, he is not exactly that fast. So people can catch up to him very easily. Um, I don't know how that makes sense because he is 92. Uh, he has 92 pace. I think it's 92 sprint speed and 92 acceleration. So 5'9", he should feel quite fast. A lot of wingers I've tried that before feel a lot faster than him. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, he's weak, very weak. That is another thing I've noticed in this match. So many positions where he could have at least tried to outmuscle. If he tries to outmuscle a defender and does, we would be in a very good position. But again, cannot do that. And you saw what happened. We've missed so many opportunities because of that. So... First match, disappointing, but kind of expected. He's only 84 rated. All right, guys, second match. Let us see. This guy's got an attributes card, but hey, another team that doesn't... I mean, he has chill well, which is always good. <laughs> He's right back and left back. This guy doesn't even have a full chem team, so let's see what we can do. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Finally, we get a, we get a goal with him. So... 
even though that went in, you could see it's not the strongest of shots, but hey, 82 shooting on the cards, shot power's increased by I think 10, right? Or five, I can't remember. Oh, it was a deflection. Is that why it went in? It went off Bale's head. It was a deflection. I was wondering how did that go in? Because even when he shot it, it looked weak. So we got extremely lucky there to score with him a long shot. Let's go! Now that is what I'm talking about. We talk about his shot power not being that powerful, but he shows it off there, so... And I think that was with his weak foot. Actually, no, he's... No wonder I completely forgot he is right... He's left-footed. So look at this. Bam! With his left foot. So one thing I have to remember, we kept trying to cut in with his right. So... That's true. We kept trying to cut in with his right. That's why he, he felt... Like his shooting wasn't that great. And now that I remember, he is left footed, so. Yeah, it makes sense now, guys. Makes sense now. So, I'm at fault for talking about his shooting not being that great. Can I buddy this guy off? Lucas, let's go! Lucas is just too good. Can we score this? Left footed! Ho 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 ho! When you find out. When you forget that this guy is left footed, this is what he's capable of. Shot power, not complaining about that anymore. This guy's got some insane shooting on him. Awesome. Awesome. It's my fault, guys. I kept trying to shoot with his right foot in the first match, so I'm not going to say anything um, about his shooting. His shooting was awesome. This is what I like about 5 Star Skillers, boys. Oh, so close! You guys could see it happening. If I got past that guy, it was going to be a goal. Is he offside? He's not offside. So, gets a goal back. He worked really hard for that goal, so... But I think this game is over anyway, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, he still misses! Wow. So, guys, that is the match, second match. Um, I have to admit, he was a lot more fun in the second match once I actually remembered he's left foot. So, overall, I have to admit, look at that, 9.6, huge difference. But, use him on the right side. He will be so much more effective on the right side. Uh, on the left side, he's only good for crossing, and his crossing isn't that good. So, don't use him on the left side. And he also has only a three-star weak foot, so keep that in mind. If crossing is important for you, I wouldn't even be using this player in the first place. So, if you want to use him, make sure you swap um, positions in-game with uh, your right winger. And he will be very, very fun to use. So, he scored us a hat-trick in the second, uh, second matchup, which is awesome. Because I was complaining uh, in the first match, his shooting isn't that great, what's going on? Especially since we increased his shooting with the chemistry style, but then I realized he's left footed. So, three star weak foot, obviously, his right foot is absolute garbage as we saw in the game in the first match. But overall, he's an okay player. For, for the price you're paying for, which is 50k, if he remains that price, he could be lower, he could be higher. I don't know. After this video, I need to double check. But 50k at the point of recording this video, I have to admit, he's not that fast. I'm still gonna stand by that. He's not, he doesn't feel as fast as in-game stats show. He's extremely weak also. His positioning is average at best. He's not always at the place you want him to be, but he's sometimes there when you do. So it's inconsistent, but there's always that. Um, what else was there? Obviously he's not gonna win you any, any headers, but other than that, those are my only complaints about a 50K player. So at this stage of FIFA, I wouldn't use him, but if you like him in real life, you're obviously going to be using him, even if you watch this video. So, overall, he's average at best. So, um, I'm going to give him, guys, I'm not going to be too harsh on him because he's only 50k. I always don't like to be too harsh on these cheap players because I can't compare a cheap player to someone that is over 500k or even over a million coins, right? So, I'm going to give this player right here a seven 
He's just above average, he's pretty good, but at this stage of FIFA, he's missing the key components to make him a really awesome player. And with him being this close to team this season, do you really want to buy players like this? It's up to you. If you like him in real life, there's a lot of hype around him right now. This could be a player that you would enjoy using in the summer. But for now, you know, for meta, no, there's way better wingers. Hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully you have a very nice day.